Hi students, good afternoon to everyone. Hope you enjoyed last session on stress management. So far, whatever that we discussed in the organizational behavior, all are meant for knowing individual behavior. So in this module, we will be shifting our focus towards understanding group behavior. So keeping in mind this, I have developed few modules to know group behavior at workplace. Individuals when they join in group, so they behave differently. So that is what we call group behavior, right? The purpose of this module is to know the basic concepts of group dynamics, right? And uh, so in group, how people behave, uh, so that we'll understand subsequent modules. But in this module, uh, you will know the basic concepts of group and group dynamics. So if you just look at uh, a group, let us first understand what is group. A group is defined as two or more individuals interacting and interdependent who have come together to achieve particular objective, right? So group in the sense, we need minimum two people working together, interacting and they are interdependent because they are working for same reason or same cause. They all have to work together and so they all are working for achieving the common goal. So that is what is group. So when you look at another important concept, the group dynamics. Group dynamics in the sense concerned with the interactions and forces among the group members in a social situations, how they behave in the group and develop interaction among themselves that is uh, called group dynamics. So this group dynamics concept was more popularized in the writings of Elton Mayo experiments on groups in way back 1920 and uh, Kurt Lewins popularized the concept in the 1930s. The group dynamics uh, also very important for managers to uh, uh, to develop a group cohesiveness and uh, get the group support for achievement of organizational goals. So if you look at the, the basic concepts of uh, uh, no, <clears throat> the groups. So based on the status, you will have the formal group and informal group. And based on the size, you will find the large, small and sometimes even medium size also. So these are the uh, basic uh, no, uh, the group classifications. If you see the group dynamics, group dynamics, you know, the characteristics and then process that affect how a group or a team functions, right? Because group behavior affects the group activities, their jobs. So group size especially um, affects the uh, no, group performance. And group tasks impact how a group interacts, right? So the tasks of uh, each and every individual and their performance and group relations and group activities so all these are the interrelated and interdependent. So their behavior, their interactions, their uh, the common uh, uh, group activities affect the the tasks and then the task performance. If you look at the the groups and then uh, classification of the groups, right? We understood what is the group, and if you see the formal group and informal group, a formal group is a designated work group defined by the organization structure, right? That is the formal group. 
So informal group is a group that is uh, either formally structured, uh, now organizationally determined. So if you can see that it appears in response to the needs of the social uh, you know, contacts. So you can see that uh, no uh, informal group, uh, a group that is uh, neither formally structured nor organizationally defined. So it is informal groups are existing within the organizations uh, uh, with knowledge without knowledge of the uh, organizations. So maybe based on the interest like a uh, no, uh, the cricket uh, the team, the cricket associations or even welfare associations and then volleyball associations. So among the employees they form the group and then uh, they start uh, you know, working on that. So in that way you can see that uh, so informal groups are existing within the organizations very well. And further you can see that command group, a group composed of uh, the individuals who reports directly to a, a given managers and task group. So the, uh, those working together to complete a job or a task, that is one group. So interest groups, so based on the interests, some people join together. Right. And based on the friendship also, you will find the formation of groups. Like, you will find the several groups are existing within the organizations. All these groups and then intergroup within the group, the dynamics and relations are going to affect the uh, workplace. So being a manager, so one has to understand all these groups and group dynamics and uh, group behavior, how it is affecting the, uh, the tasks and then the job performance, how a manager can make use of these the dynamics for the benefit of the organization. That is the main issue of this uh, no, um, entire group dynamics, right? So with this, let me just stop here. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to meet you in the next video. Thank you.